In this video, we take a quick look at the Finder portal of PyGPS. In a few steps, we learn how to manage the devices as well as the map. First of all, I open a new browser window. Then I go to the website finder-portal.com. I can switch languages on the left corner on the top. In the top bar, I am asked for my email. In the bottom bar, I am asked for my password. After clicking login, one will soon see the user interface. Here as well, it is possible to switch languages on the left corner on the top bar. Further things you can see at the top bar are the PyGPS logo, which will return you to the home screen. Here, you could activate full screen if you wanted to get the map displayed larger. The gear will guide you to the settings. The bell displays the last alerts. The menu icon allows you to manage your finder devices on the map. This example now shows what it looks like when the GPS devices are grouped together. Click on the finder name to locate the device and center the map around it. It is also possible to disable and enable devices for the map. The menu bar on the right shows three options at the bottom, which apply to the currently selected finder. Info, route, alerts. First shown info gives you news about the latest data, the nearest location and the last stop. The route option allows you to select the time period in which you want to take a closer look at the route covered. For example, yesterday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Zoom the map around the finder to show the track recorded on the street map. Waypoints include more details about date and time as well as the speed. You can also click on Google Maps route to open this special point in Google Maps. The last option lists all alerting features that are possible for this finder model. Easily disable and enable these alerts. The question mark provides additional information, like how to trigger the SOS alert. Some alerts require additional information. Here you can see the alert for leaving or entering an area. Once asked, to select the shape to be applied. Choose between circle, rectangle or polygon. Hold the markers at the edge to the marked area to define the zone to be monitored. After all alert settings have been set as desired, just click Save. When you're done, you can simply close the browser window or log out first.